Junior Competition Superstars, today we're going to answer the question, how do I not let nerves interfere with my competition riding? Super question. Glad you're aware, nerves probably won't help you in a competition. Probably best to leave them at home on the couch and you just bring your merry self to the competition. But how do you do that? How do you make sure that your nerves don't interfere with your competition? Firstly, check in. What pressure have you put on yourself? What are your expectations for a competition? Now, I am hugely goal orientated. I have books, literally books of goals. I walk around with four journal slash diary slash goal record things um, for the year. So I'm totally goal centric. But when you ask me my goal for the competition, it's to do my best to do the best that I can do and that I can bring out of the horse. And I always hope, it's the only time I bother with hope because hope is hopeless because I'm not in control of it. But I always hope that my horse um, is feeling good in its body, had a good night's sleep. You know, I can't control all these things, um, but he's willing to work with me and listen to me and, and do, bring his best self as well. And we just wanna do our best. I can't, of course I have goal, I set the goal, oh, you know, 72%, 75%, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, I can't control what the judge is giving out. I can't control anything that can happen. If it's hailing and um, I get run into in the warm up and um, uh, I've had a flat tire on the way to the competition, when I do my best, you know, it might not be the best of my best, but it's the best I could do in that moment. And that's why I love competition riding because it's not about how good you can do a flying change at home. It's not about how good your half pass was three weeks ago. It's about what you can bring at 1.23 on a Sunday afternoon um, at that time, at that moment in those conditions. I love that pressure, but I don't feel pressured by it. I have a husband, I have kids, and I have Sunday Night Mexican. And I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about it before, but whether I win and I get 75%, I'm the biggest champion there is. Guess what happens? I go home and I eat Mexican with my husband and my two kids. If I come last and I got eliminated and it's been the worst test of our lives, guess what happens? I go home, I eat Mexican with my husband and my two kids. My riding does not define me. My competition does not define me. It is something I do for fun. I know, novel idea. I actually do it to smile. I actually do it to enjoy myself. I actually do it because I love it. Um, and everything that happens when I'm out there is a learning experience. Now, please don't think that, oh, well, it's all right for her. She wins all the time. I don't win half any of the time. I come last often and I've had horrible things happen to me. I've been eliminated. I've been bailed out. I've been told, please don't come back. You can't control your horse. Um, uh, that happened when I was young. My horse took off and it was, you know, very embarrassing and very, oh dear. Um, <laughs> I've gone to a big national Grand Prix competition and my horse kicked out at the arena and um, yeah, we came dead last, traveled all that way to come last. Um, but guess what? It was kind of fun in the, sick, in the sick, horrible journey of it all. And the best thing is I have stories to share with you guys to go, really, you think you had a bad competition? I think I can beat you. And I normally do beat you and I am competitive which means I win in my bad stories of losing if that made any sense but I'm just hoping to di dissect a little bit of um, my mental state of what happens when I compete and what happens when I do well or don't go well because at the end of the day it's all fun and it's all learning so because I see competing like that I, d I can't get nervous around it and if I do choose to get nervous at a big competition I go that's really silly Tash you're not doing anything useful in the world. It's not like you're solving um, curing cancer. It's not like you're so solving world hunger. You're not really doing anything that important. You're just going around in a circle trying to look the prettiest so you get a little bit of a blue ribbon. And I'm not saying anything disparaging about our sport. I obviously love our sport, but when I dilute it to that it's sent to me, I therefore feel no pressure. I therefore feel no nerves and I get, just get very giggly at the whole thing. So trust that helps. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If you liked today's episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And if you want to leave a comment, I read all my comments, so let us know how this helped. I'm super, super, super excited to also let you know that we have a competition training. If you'd like to know how to get better in competition, how to overcome competition nerves, how to master a warm up, how to um, remember your test and learn and remember your test so you don't need a caller and you don't forget it, I've got that all in my free competition training available for you. 
So click on the link and grab that training and I will see you guys very soon.